morning, morning, welcome to, welcome to being the light, the light, the light, light meditations, meditations that I've been doing every Wednesday morning, Wednesday morning at nine o'clock. And how it works is I sit down and I feel into what needs to be explored, discussed, healed, shifted. I always say it's, it's like we're gold panning. And we're trying to find the gold in our lives, within ourselves, within our spaces, and what is uh, of value. And just let uh, the other, the other ma material items or thoughts go that are like encrusted and holding on to the real value. And gold is a really nice image because it is the matter that has the highest vibration on the earth. And it's fascinating that where I'm living right now in Nevada City, it was traditionally a gold mining town. And of course, there's lots of gold underneath me right now, within the granite, within the riverbeds. And yesterday, I took a long hike in nature, and we were able to see man's quest for material wealth. And all that it took, and they would take these huge, strong nozzles, and they would blow off layers and layers of the dirt. And then as it washed down, they would put the little sluice boxes and catch the gold. And I thought, oh, my goodness. In one place, there was just one tiny little hill left because they hadn't completely obliterated it. But in a place that had material, they would blast it, and it would change it. It would be open. And the pebbles would fall out. It couldn't hold on to things. It lost its constitution. So in a sense, if you start thinking about how we as dense human beings have this gold within us, and it does take sometimes blasting and blasting and blasting of the same horrific traumas coming into our lives till finally something cracks off and then the gold can wash in and we can see really what is the truth and value and long lasting within ourselves. So sometimes we have to completely obliterate our ego sense of ourselves. Just like yesterday I saw that one little standing last little kill and, and, I, and I had to laugh that well, when that's gone, everything is just at the same level, same playing field. So we ourselves have to be minors, and we're not going for uh, uh, material wealth or power over. We are wanting to level our ways of thinking and being that keep us from bringing in um, this drama trauma of needing to wash away, wash away, wash away, which is a, it's a, it's a very traumatizing thing. That's why we use vibration on these meditations because, for instance, if you are holding vibrationally in your voice that you are not worthy and you're holding that belief your whole life, that is coming towards the world, that that is your architectural thought, field, and plan that I am not worthy. And so these little harmonics in your voice will keep drawing in people who will blast you. And it feels like, oh my God, I feel worthless. They have just blown away another level. They've shattered my self-esteem. They've hurt me. Now I really felt worthless. So sometimes we need, they say that you have to sometimes hit the bottom of the barrel. And that's when you've continued your patterns long enough that they're no longer, they have nothing to stick on. You're absolutely ready to surrender. You have leveled your ego and your personality, your resistance. Look at me, I'm so strong, I'm so powerful. And what do you become when you are not this resistant material? You become present. There's nothing to protect. There's nothing else for anyone to hurt. You become innocent, and you become a witness. And at that point, that's when people usually say, help me, God. And I think people do get 
that the traumas that come into their lives are there to wash and wash and wash away until finally they're on their knees and say, I give. What's the truth or what's the answer? And the answer is always to surrender to, to the divine light of the creator. I know religions have given a lot of control issues about this and a bad rap, but when we let go and we go into that stream of all that is, that's when the gold can shine because we're not covering it up with layers of things. So why do I do these meditations? Because that vibration in there that says I'm not worthy, that came somewhere in your lifeline timeline, can actually be unwound and shifted without needing to keep attracting people in to test and prove and blow you away. You can actually melt all resistance and all heaviness so that you don't need the drama and trauma of everyday life. And right now, we want to accelerate the process of purification and cleaning so that our energy field is free and open to receive and experience things that will help us get our lives and get the show on the road of recreating a new benevolent living environment for humans. So if you're watching this on some level, you're buying into that and feeling excited that you are a change agent. You're here to initiate certain things. And together, we can energetically address these items that used to take blasting and perhaps lifetimes of figuring it out. And we can be present with each other, transparent, clear, and let our gold shine and their gold shine we that's the new golden era when we've all done the gold mining and we're there together and we're standing just shining as uh, recipients of the creator's light and we get to use our innate human will and intelligence to co-create beautiful new things ways of being eating and living together in tiny houses and just lots of beautiful things so we are doing uh, gold panning, gold mining. We're going for the gold within ourselves in a beautiful, energetic way because it's not happening out there anyway. They're just actors in your play. It's all in here. There's really nothing happening outside that you are not projecting and calling in and asking for to help yourself let go and be cleaned and purified. So let's take a look at what is that item that has been going through your mind in the middle of the night and that through your fear and this unhealed miasm is making a mountain out of a molehill and bringing in more people and showing you over and over and over again that this is still an algae that is hijacking your thinking from pure gold relaxed calm co-creating sustainable living so you know what it is already it's a thing that has been bothering you i have one myself so of course i know exactly how this all works so go ahead and begin to think of that item that has been really annoying and bothering you in the back of your mind fear the fear of losing something your home a partner money the fear of getting older, the fear of a child having a difficulty. What you do is when you have those thoughts, they bring more particles and actors say, oh, she wants to play out that game. She wants to play the fear that uh, her daughter's going to have trouble. She wants to play that fear. So then you start watching for things and other people will volunteer to help you, help show you that, Oh, yes, this could definitely be eventual. Is that what you want to have proven? Is that what you need? Because if we, if we help do that, well, then you go inside and finally say, I am running a movie of fear. I am hijacking all the particles of my life and attention to this old feeling of complete helplessness to control, make, or just to just to make something happen that I decided somewhere along the way will make me feel safe. 
So breathe into that because you know that's in there. Feel in it. It's like this little gooey, thicker area that's now starting to pulse. It's starting to pulse and awaken because we're looking at it. And we're going to give it a name. And the name is misaligned energy. Because if you are feeling an emotion is not pleasant, it means that who you really are and the little movie you're projecting is not matching. And so you as a director of the movies, because wait a minute, I'm going to press stop on this movie. I'm going to take it off the projector of my life and I'm going to put it in the trash. Now, we could put a movie on and we could go and we could have a pretend movie. We humans are so good. Everything's okay. I'm fine. Everything's going to go well because I wish it and I make affirmations. No, that's still a little misaligned energy in there is waiting for a moment to say, look, I knew that would happen. It, it harbors in there. It's like the little mold. Uh, underneath the couch that waits for the right conditions and then starts proliferating and makes everybody sick. So in these times, we really, um, they say we can't afford a negative thought, but we're not there yet. In the future, when we're totally creating from our thoughts, then that is true. But right now, a negative thought, an emotion, is going to help you access that little gray, pulsing, non-transparent, non-connected space. So let's go ahead and begin this uh, Be the Light three-point meditation process that helps us access and kind of pour some new healing energy on that so that it becomes a new, healthier vibration in your body. So sit up nice and straight, and we begin the meditation by saying, I ask and intend to set a sacred space. I place a hold on of balance over my entire body now. Only energies of the highest light may be in this space. I remove everyone else's energy from my energy field. And in this moment, I am letting go of my thinking. And I'm letting go of attachment to the outcome of this exercise and actually of everything. I ask that things come into my life that show me exactly where I'm struggling and suffering with attachment and control. Just take a deep breath. We call in our spirit family, the beings of light and the guides who assist, direct, and support us during our gold penning stage. We must use humorous ways to look at things that sometimes feel so torturous. And the longer and the deeper the old pattern or belief, sometimes the scarier it is because if that last resistance is gone, our ego is afraid we might float and we might obliterate. But the exact opposite is true. We become fluidly, profoundly strong. Just with that picture, that if I'm brave enough to walk through this dissolution and dissolving, and to let go and be who I really am free, that I will be safe, I will be of greater service, and I will have finished the drama drama path of release. And yes, we also take a look at and suggest to ourselves that it can be this easy just to work the vibrational field for release. So in these moments, we're just preparing our body to release. So go ahead and feel into your body where that terror is, that if you feel that wall, 
that you've been trying to walk through. And just imagine that you are going around the side now and you're taking a peek. What's on the other side of that wall? Freedom, beauty, joy, perfection. And you're thinking, how do I get rid of the wall? Well, it's the same formula for everything. We give it up and we allow whatever created that wall to be dissolved by the higher frequencies of source through the reins of our own consciousness. So take a deep breath through the nose and out through the mouth. And just imagine that over the top of your head is a brilliant ball of divine light. And this beautiful ball of light has like little magic arrows in it that can go in and pop these little areas of like gelatinous resistance and begin to open it. So this ball of light is is actually a living active force. This ball of light holds these beautiful funnels of pure light and arrows that can wash away, disturb, and open up that old area of resistance. So all of this resides and more in this beautiful ball of light that is hovering over the top of your head. Let it begin to melt down into your crown chakra, into your brain, into your skull, deep, deep, deep down into your neck. We ask and intend that our brain patterning be released from the past now. We ask that all ways of apprehensiveness, waiting for the next foot to drop, anxiety, reactivity, this is a tall order, but we ask to the highest degree that that be released from our thinking and our way of being now. Take a breath through the nose and out through the mouth. We let a beautiful pool of light pour over our head, into our neck and onto our shoulders. And we feel that as this delightful essence comes in, any little area of holding our breath, holding back our feelings, all this that has kept us separate, this wall, which is living in our body and our mem memory cells. We ask that these little arrows of truth and light and love change the matrix. They actually break apart the little communication cells that, as a little girl said, if this happens, then you must respond this way. It's as if a spool of thread has been turning in one direction to wind and letting go of all the thread out of your energy field. And now we are reversing it. And we are winding it up such a way that you are conserving the thread and it is being beautifully aligned and rewound. Your nervous system is being rewound. so that you can be a neutral witness full of love and compassion to yours and other people's human condition. Take a deep breath through the nose and out through the, out through the mind, I was going to say. Clear that mind with this cleansing divine breath. So as you are rewinding the story of your life, bringing back your truth and your light and aligning it so beautifully. Let this energy continue down through your body and let it access the first true trauma that is related to this item that you are asking to clear today, this wall. 
Even if you don't know what it is, just imagine that these little arrows are finding it. Just the place in your body where you are holding. The old story. The confusion, the pain, and the resulting decisions. We ask and intend that this energy of essence begin to create cracks in this wall of resistance and withholding. We ask that this essence has a cleansing and also effect of making the wall lose its integrity, ability of structural integrity so that it can't even hold and it begins to melt and crack up. And slowly but surely you are seeing the light of day, the other side of the wall, the grass is greener, and you are seeing that it has been there all along, just maybe two feet out of your reach. Take a deep breath as you witness that the entire wall is falling. And now, what you have longed for, what you didn't know how to access, is available to you. So go ahead and in your mind take four long steps. And you are now on the other side of that wall and it is behind you. This issue is behind you. We ask and intend this vibration of source and essence go in and deeply clean out where this wall resided within your body so that every particle of fear and confusion and pain that created it is now completely healed and washed away. Just feel into it and allow it. And we ask that over the next three days that there be like a straining system to help decompress and allow for this old issue and fear to just drain off and be completely healed. So it's almost as if you're in an energetic surgical suite. And this is being removed. And actually, walls like this become disease. They become kidney stones, ulcers, cancer. So you are removing anything that could interfere with vitality and life. Take a deep, deep, deep breath. And if you're able to, Go ahead and uh, tap the area that you are releasing. Might be different parts in your body. Just go ahead and just allow it to release, tap it, and feel the freedom and joy of letting go. And letting a new fluidity and excitement of aliveness wash through the body. Beautiful. Now let this energy flow out the bottom of your feet and continue down and plug into the new earth grid and let it come back up through your feet, through your legs, so that you feel safe and strong and resourced here on this earth. Let this energy come up through your body joyfully. Deep breath down into your hands and your fingertips, in your neck about the top of your head and continuing up and plugging into creator source. Beautiful. Now just feel this very high electromagnetic circuitry of a new nature. We are different in every moment and we have just done a very powerful upgrade. And is there anything else that you wanted to address or clear in your body? Let that be also resettled into this new place of possibility and allowance. Non-resistance to what is, just allowing, letting your whole body settle in, feeling good, 
We ask and intend that all of this integrate and stabilize in our systems now. We finish the meditation by putting a beautiful, golden, resilient egg around our entire body so that we are feeling held, protected, and safe as we move through our day. So thank you for joining me today on this meditation. Uh, please check the website, Sound and Light Healing Arts, and there is a catalog of previous meditations that we record here in the Zoom chat room, and you're welcome to join me live as well. At this point, I turn off the recording, and we have question and answer live. Thank you for joining me again. Jan Jorgensen Circone. I am taking my maiden name back. My new name is Jan Sarah Jorgensen. And I'll hold this circone just until people really get uh, uh, the smooth change. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. <laughs>